you know, I remember you saying you struggle with mental health issues, you know, you know, you open up in ways probably some people might be afraid to. 2020 has been tough for a lot of people in different ways. How have, how has that been difficult for you as far as going, overcoming your mental health issues? I think I'm open the way I am because I know what it feels like. And I know that it's not a fun place to be at when you don't know what's going on. So I try to be, you know, as vulnerable as I can. And for that, it gives me strength. And with that strength, I give to other people so they don't have to go through the same things, you know. And I just try to help out younger kids because I know that if they, you know, hold it inside, it's just going to destroy them little by little without them noticing. And I want to give everybody, you know, advice and a good chance answer what they want to do and I want to show people that no matter what's going on inside that there's a way to get through it and there's a way to still be the best you can be no matter what is going on because you know God doesn't give his God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors so and that's what I want to get and that's what I want to help out people figure out because I experienced it those challenges that you've experienced does it come with perhaps the pressure of having to succeed, having to live up to the expectations. Is, is that where uh, some of those challenges you, you're having to face, is that where they come from? Yeah, some stuff come from that. But, you know, just things that I think about is like, you know, in order to do anything great in life, there needs to be an amount of pressure. I mean, whether you're making, you know, a diamond, how, many pr how much pressure you need to make a diamond how much pressure, you know, it's going to take for me to become a diamond in the ring. And it's going to take loads of pressure. So I need to embrace it because this is my moment. The more pressure there is, the better chance I have to becoming a great, there has to be greatness, but in order to treat greatness, there has to be pressure. So I kind of take it like, all right, this is what I've been working for. Here's the pressure. Here it comes. I need to embrace it and go for it. It's that. And um, with 2020, you, ha you had a lot of successes outside of the ring. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, your manager and advisor, Lupe Valencia, he's, he, he let, had the laundry list for me, whether it was 1800 Tequila, Dolce & Gabbana, co-starring with Kevin Hart in the piece, having your own YouTube show, having your own action figure. The list goes on. We can, we right. can continue all day. What would you say is the biggest success for you outside of the ring in 2020? Oh, man, I would just say that my fan base, uh, how much it has grown since that knockout and, you know, just overall, just everything. I think from, you know, my social media to my offline presence and everything from there, it's been, it's improved so much. And now finally in 2021, I get to start fighting again. Now I get to build that up. So the more that, you know, 2020 just really amplified my, my status, uh, who I am. They, a lot more people know who I am. You know, you can go ask them, you know Ryan Garcia? Yeah, I do. So I think that 2020 was one successful because I had an amazing knockout in early in the year. And then from there, I just built up my name even more. And then more opportunities came and I take in the opportunities. And now chance in 2021 to do something amazing in the beginning of the year, right in the beginning of the year. So we got all that good buildup just to have a, you know, start off the year with a bang. You know, it's time to fight now. I got the name out there. Everybody knows about this fight. Everybody wants to see my next fight. They know what I did to Fonseca. Now they want to see me against Luke Campbell to see what I do. This is the moment. This is the time I spilled up. This is, I'm going to leave everything in the ring. I'm, 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 I'm in there. So I'm ready. And, and one thing I think people can give you credit for is that you are calling every single name out there at 135, whether it's Devin Haney, Gervonta Davis, Vasil Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez. Hell, you might even want to fight me right now. <laughs> but I mean, what at the age of 22, these legacy defining fights that guys like Terrence Crawford and Errol Spencer are still trying to find for themselves. Do you want to avoid the mistakes that some of these other top pound for pound fighters have made and get these fights in the bank and in your career early and perhaps even follow a path like a Canelo where you're facing the top guy at, at all times. 
I well, yeah, I, I'm definitely blessed to be in the position that I can make these fights happen. And I have a chance to achieve legacy greatness and to be one of the best fighters that's ever lived. If I could beat Javante Davis, if I could beat, you know, Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez in their prime, that's what I want. I want to fight them in their prime and I want to beat them. And if I'm able to do that, man, I, I got a good argument on, you know, to do do something that not many fighters have done. Like you said, Sugar Ray Leonard, you got Muhammad Ali when he beat Sonny Liston in his prime. You got, you know, you got a lot of fighters that there's very few that get that chance. And I think I have that chance with Javante Davis. If I, it, when I become victorious come January 2nd, that's the fight I want. I want on Cinco de Mayo though. I definitely want that as one of the biggest fights of 2021. It's me and Javante Davis. So look out for the call out and look out that uh, I'll be screaming his name after this fight. We might have to have a split site pay-per-view. You and Canelo might have to talk about who <laughs> and where on Cinco de Mayo weekend. Man, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. i will probably be a first to. Uh-huh. And lastly, I'll leave you with this, Ryan, considering the, the time of the year we're having the conversation. What's your New Year's resolution for 2021? My New Year's resolution for 2021? Hmm. Go out there and be great. That's it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, again, congratulations on all of your success in 2020. Uh, you became a father for the second time. You uh, got through the pandemic. Uh, here you are about to have your first fight since your resounding first round knockout of Francisco Fonseca. Again, against Luke Campbell on January 2nd in Dallas. And, uh, and it's going to be available on The Zone as well. So, Ryan, good luck. Uh, hopefully you, you stay away from the Rona. Uh, yes. And uh, we, we get to see you January 2nd. I mean, all the best, brother. God bless you, man. God bless as well. Thank you very much. Segundos, yes. Um, you know, someone's fast. I believe that it's, it, it's my time to shine. It's, um, I'm making a stamp here. Yeah. That's Now go again, off the back <laughs> I'm in a hell of a place right now, I'm feeling good, I'm performing. Nice. You know, every, every time I spot him now, you know, he gets that little bit sharper each time. You know, even though I'm getting sharp. What I want is being recognised for one of the best lightweights in the world from a physical standpoint. Even though he's 33, he's only really filling in you know, in the late amateurs, all of the mindsets that he's overcome the beat stuff. I really feel like this guy is an amazing step for this next two to three years of his career. I'll go again, off the back I'm in a hell of a place right now, I'm feeling good. I'm going to I'm on the scene, Billy Jean had to let him know. Put my demons in that cage, then I let him go. You know, every, every time I'm spotting him, you know, he gets that little bit sharp for each time. You know, even though I'm getting sharp. What I want is being recognized for one of the best lightweights in the world from a physical standpoint, even though it's 33. I'm going to see Billy Jean had to let him know. Put my demons in that cage, then I let him go. Mama told me just to chill, but it's still still. When I need a wheel, got me turning into Kill Bill. Yeah, I've been praying for this. I'm a side of Kill Bill. Yeah, I've been praying for this. I'm a side of Kill Bill. Yeah, I've been praying for this. I'm a side of Kill Bill.
again off the back end. I'm in a hell of a place right now. I'm feeling good. I'm a fuck. Nice.
it 30 second breaks? Time was a fly, it's already round eight. He's in great shape, he only drank water once this whole time. No? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.